Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your October 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what um, important messages we have for you guys for October. So apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So... Scorpio, what messages, important messages do you have here for Scorpio? Important messages for Scorpio for October 2024. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. Okay. So Scorpio, we have the star card and the... Um, Empress, Libra, Taurus. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Seems like you guys are in this very hopeful, optimistic energy that you guys will get out of some sort of financial obstacle that you guys are going through here. Some sort of financial worry, okay? <laughs> So, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely turning to the universe for guidance here. You know, I do feel like you guys are definitely putting out into the universe that you guys need assistance here. So, you know, I do feel like with the Empress energy here, I do believe that you guys are definitely master manifesting here and creating the life that you want here and overcoming any sort of obstacle that blocks you from that. All right. Let's see what else we have. We got the Six of Cups. We also have the Hierophant here. Some of you guys could be a single parent here, and I feel like you guys are definitely in this energy of trying to figure out, you know, which is the best schooling for your child is, whether it's public school or private school or something like that. Some of you guys are considering that or that you, some of you guys have this on your mind here. Now, with the Six of Cups here and the higher fit here, some of you here could be realizing their loyalties here towards you and they're missing you a lot and that they're feeling lonely without you here. All right, tell me about the star card. Why is the star card here? All right, the star card and the eight of wands. All right. The empress and also the ten of pentacles here. Wow. Scorpio. This is a really great reading for you guys in a way because I do feel like you guys are definitely reaching your financial victory and your success here. You guys are definitely overcoming your obstacles here. Okay. Now, if there's an ex that's trying to reach out to you, trying to rekindle a relationship here with you, I do feel like it does look really good in the way where this person is definitely loyal to you and this person's committed to you here. All right, the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles. In the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Excuse me, you guys. Six of Cups. And temperance, Sagittarius energy. The Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. All right. Seems like there's someone here that just can't stop thinking about you. However, this is, I do feel like there's someone here that's definitely trying to reach out to you to make some sort of peace here, to make you some sort of offer here. You know, things could be really looking up here in a way where things are really changing in this romantic situation that you're in with this individual here. Okay. It does seem like whoever this is, somebody here is really serious about investing time and energy 
into you, into, into this relationship and into this connection here. Some here is looking to make peace. Some here is looking for your forgiveness here. All right. Some here just can't stop thinking about you. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What other important messages do we have for, for Scorpio for October 2024? For Scorpio. So we have the Four of Swords, all right? The Seven of Wands. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, again. The Four of Pentacles here. And also we have the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, it seems like there's someone here that's not really willing to let you go. Yeah, there, there's, there's a person here that's not really willing to let you go. But, you know, with the Empress here, you know, in a star card, you could have gone off on your own to focus on your healing here, to focus on your manifestations here. Uh... Here's the thing. Also, if this person wants towards a third party, this third party party might be communicating with you here. Yeah. Perhaps this person needs some sort of support here. You know, perhaps this person wants to talk about what this person has done to you and also to them. You know, it seems like what's happening here in this situation here is that someone who's about to break no contact or rush back in towards you to fight for this connection here, to fight for you. Tell me the uh, uh, Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Seven of Wands, and also the Two of Wands here. Here is the thing, you know, I do feel like this person definitely has options that they're dealing with here. So, you know, I don't feel like this person's definitely going to make a clean slate with you by cutting off all these other individuals here to be with you. They still have these options under their wings here. King of Wands, Three of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands, and also the Queen of Wands. We got the King to Queen of Wands here, True Pairs here. It does seem like you guys are distancing yourself from this individual here and just really focusing on your healing, your personal growth, and your spiritual growth here. I just feel like with the Five of Swords here, I just feel like you just don't want to play games with this individual here and that you guys are putting yourself first. You know, with the Knight of Cups here and the Lover's card here, I just feel like this person wants to rekindle this and I feel like this person just doesn't want to let you go here, Scorpio. Yeah, you know, this person wants to rebuild this relationship, you see? And like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys kind of got off on your own here to do your own thing. Like, you know, with the Six of Cups here, the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles here, Six of... Yeah, some of you are just missing you a lot here, Scorpio. And they're looking to make amends here with you. They're looking to reconcile here with you, but I feel like you don't want this. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.